Hey guys, today I'm starting with just plain white canvas and I've already got my outline sketched on. Um, so I'm starting with a flat synthetic brush and I've thinned down some blue paint, some phthalo blue. Uh, you can use water, I actually used glazing liquid, but either way it just needs to be thinned down to cover this whole thing. Um, so that will be the sky and then with a darker shade same concept but just a darker shade i'm putting in the water and then toward the bottom of the canvas i want it to be darker so um and this doesn't at all have to be exact but you just want it darker at the bottom and lighter at the top and then with um quite a bit of paint pretty thick i'm putting in different shades of blue and then I'll take the flat brush and just kind of go over it and uh, this just kind of creates some movement and shadow underneath the water. Alright, so now with the flat brush I'm just going to paint this whole, the whole anchor just with brown. shape it a little bit now with a smaller brush a smaller flat brush I'm um, painting my rope brown I think I actually changed the direction of the rope there I'm not really sure um, but the whole thing is just going to be brown Alright, so now with that brown dry, I'm coming back with a mixture of raw sienna and a little bit of white. And I'm just putting in these little, they're kind of like comma strokes, I guess, uh, to indicate rope. Alright, now with a small brush, I'm coming back and highlighting a very subtle highlight on the anchor. Um, and I will come back and put in brighter highlights, but this is the first of several. And then I forgot my little rope section right there. Alright, so the whole anchor just, um, my, I guess my light is coming from the upper right hand corner. Uh, so that's where most of the light is going to be on that side. So then if you have any shadows, they're going to be more, mostly toward the left. So basically, I'm going all the way to the edge on the right hand side with the highlight, but not all the way to the, to the left hand side. And right there underneath the little um, spike thing, um, I want to leave a dark area for a shadow. Now I've gone a little bit lighter. That, um, that first shade was just a little bit of white added to the brown and then this is even more white but I'm not doing as much of this it's just mostly on the just the very lightest areas all right now I've lightened that raw sienna color again and 
I'm just dabbing in a highlight on those little commas. Now a really bright highlight, and I'm being very selective with it. All right, so now with my fan brush, I've mixed up a very, very thin blue and then added some white to it and so I'm just making different shades of blue but I'm just dabbing this in with the the corner of my fan brush to create a, a splash if you want little splashes then you just barely barely touch the canvas with the corner of the brush Now for the part that comes up into the sky, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I've mixed a little darker shade for it, uh, doing the same thing, but just a little darker so that it shows up against that sky. Okay, so now I'm putting kind of a puddle of thin paint and with the straw, I'm gonna blow up whichever direction I want my splash to go. Um, please sit down when you do this because you might get dizzy. But anytime you need to add more paint, just add some, some thin paint and then just blow it up to create these um, these effects that you really can't get with a brush. All right, now with thin paint, with my fan brush, I'm tapping in some splatters. And don't worry about those big splatters. Um, I'll show you what to do about those, but just keep going and get in all the splattering that you want. And then with a paper towel, just dab the ones that you don't want on there. And, and then with white, do the same thing. So blue and white splatters. All right, now I'm taking my small brush and going over my pencil line there so that I don't have that strong pencil line. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless you.